The Indigenous Perspectives and Awareness Area focus in the Halton District School Board's 2020 to 2024 multi-year plan is designed to promote knowledge and understanding of Indigenous peoples' past and present realities. The goal is to provide opportunities for a whole community approach to understand the impacts of colonialism, past and present, foster engagement with Indigenous peoples, communities, practices, truths and realities to build awareness, mutual respect and shared responsibility, and enhance learning about treaty relationships, Indigenous rights, residential schools and Indigenous peoples' contributions as we work to fulfill the Truth and Reconciliation Calls to Action for Education. In this video, you will see how Halton District School Boards, elementary and secondary classrooms are bringing this key area of the multi-year plan to life. Oh, I love it. So you're telling me that you see relationship in this picture between the duck and the water. So the duck will be able to teach its babies how to swim. Wow. What you saw today is an example of how I try to do cross-curricular learning and how I try to embed Indigenous learning in the curriculum. So it was a science lesson where the students were learning about animals. But I tried to tie in uh, the Indigenous perspective, so I centered uh, the voice of Isaac Murdoch. I also use a book that was written by an Indigenous author to celebrate Indigenous brilliance. And from all the discussion that we had from our gallery walk and our community uh, circles, the students had an opportunity to build that knowledge about or importance and, and or responsibility rather to taking care of Mother Earth and the animals that exist. As an elementary teacher, I help my students to understand that we are part of treaty law and that we all have roles and responsibilities in treaty relationships. So I learned that the indigenous tell people what's right for this land and what's not right for the land because the land, it belongs to all of us. The land itself can't really speak, so it's like we don't really get any uh, insight onto what what would be like good for the land. Yeah, what an awesome point there too, because the whole thing is about what's happening to the land. And you're right, the land doesn't have that voice. Yeah. So I think that's a really great point. Today we were centering Indigenous voice. We worked with a poem by Leanne Simpson um, and we started by doing some reflection on a build project that students worked on the other day where they thought about and created um, a representation of a place that had meaning to them. Um, the poem that we talked about and explored today was talking about um, the importance in, uh, of, a, of place to people and also the effects of you know colonialism and urbanization on places that are really important and um, you know life-giving to people. Also keeping in mind that there are Indigenous students in our classrooms. Um, certainly as a non-Indigenous educator it's really I think it's really important um, to be very mindful and intentional of resources that I bring to class, that they also highlight, you know, stories of beauty and brilliance and resistance, um, and really center those voices and ground them in, you know, upholding rights, um, offering choice where I can so that students can, can gravitate towards um, texts that really speak to them. Um, and you know, I think that connects back to that idea of that students should be able to see themselves reflected in our classrooms. I learned the importance of giving respect to and giving a voice to and really like shining a light on First Nations and Indigenous works and things that are like poems and writing and artwork and how we can learn so many different viewpoints and so many of their values and a lot about their culture and even about their history by respecting and giving a lot of time and focusing on 
poems and such that are made by Indigenous authors. As you have seen, the HDSB's 2020 to 2024 multi-year plan is an important document that sets the direction and prioritizes our efforts as an organization to support our 65,000 students and 9,000 staff members as they learn. As our collective responsibility, reconciliation requires sustained public education and dialogue. With Indigenous perspectives and awareness as one of five areas of focus in the plan, HDSB schools continue to help students learn, grow, and inspire.